Welcome to the Sherway English PTE Super Series. Today we are going to look at the right essay question type. This is lecture number two in the series and as always this will be your most useful time spent on YouTube today. You'll get a lot out of this so make sure that you watch the video till the end. This will build your confidence uh, how to attempt a right essay question properly so that you get the maximum marks out of it, how to tackle it step by step we'll go through each and every step and we'll have in-depth explanations and of course we will get some good practice so make sure you watch this video till the end to begin with let's start with an essay right away and afterwards we will have a discussion on it this is the first essay have a look at it read it and then we'll go forward the very first thing that you need to do when attempting a right essay question is you need to understand the question okay so this was our prompt nowadays many people go abroad either for higher education or work so you need to understand this and the question is do you think this has more advantages or disadvantages for young people support your point of view with reasons and examples from your own experience now the last part that support your point of view with reasons and examples from your own experience that is quite standard but everything else you need to analyze properly so that when you're writing your essay you're writing it in response to what is asked and not something else you'll be surprised at how many people make this mistake so first thing that you need to understand is that it is about people going abroad for higher education or work they're not talking about people who go abroad after retirement or people who go abroad for tourism this is specifically for higher education or work and secondly the advantages and disadvantages for young people so it is not about middle-aged people it is not about older people it's not about children but it's about young people so your essay it should specifically talk only about higher education or work and the advantages or disadvantages for young people okay only for young people now we can start writing this essay if you want you can pause the video and write for 20 minutes otherwise you know you can just continue on with the video and we will look at the answers but I strongly recommend that you pause the video now and first attempt to write an essay and then we will go ahead and discuss this in detail All right. So before we look at a sample response and how this essay should have been written, the first thing that I want to you to know is that the 20 minutes that you get, you should utilize that time properly. The first few minutes should be spent on coming up with ideas, what you're going to write about, what your stand on that particular question is. Now in this case, nowadays many people go abroad either for higher education or work and do you think this has more advantages or disadvantages now you can write only about advantages if you feel very strongly you can write only about disadvantages or you can write a bit on both sides it is not so much about what you personally believe no one this is not a test of your personal opinions and personal beliefs this is a test of your writing so if you can come up with more ideas on the disadvantages then write more about disadvantages if you can think more on advantages write about that or write about both a good way to come up with ideas is to think about uh, the keywords maybe in your own mother tongue right so in Arabic Vietnamese in Hindi in Urdu Mandarin whatever your mother tongue is in that think about the keyword and then what are the pictures that come into your mind what are the related words related themes related scenarios that come to your mind all of those are potential ideas okay so in this e example for uh, for example in this topic when I think of higher education or work and going abroad you know I think about new languages people university employment offices money those are the things that come to my mind right and now all of those points they are a potential idea that I can then develop into a full paragraph when I'm writing my essay so never limit yourself 
you know never put yourself down saying oh I can never come up with ideas you can come up with hundreds of ideas you just need to do that systematically okay so pick the keywords and in your mind imagine what are in in your mother tongue in your native tongue what are the words what are the themes other things that come to your mind when you think of that word okay now uh, as, as I said earlier all right uh, uh, I'm assuming that you have pause the video and you've already written your essay so now let's go ahead and look at a sample response so the first thing in your essay it should be an introduction remember we are always going to follow structure a structure is there so that someone reading your essay is properly guided through it he should feel that he's being gently introduced to the topic then there are the main content paragraphs right which support what your stand on the topic is and then finally there should be a conclusion which should again summarize uh, wh what has been written or what has been done okay so the sample response this was the first paragraph people have always been fascinated by faraway lands and distant cultures now there are a few ways you know you can write your introduction usually in, in the second para second line in the introduction or somewhere in the introduction you are going to paraphrase or repeat you know what is already being said in the essay in this case the essay was about young people the advantages disadvantages for young people when they go abroad for higher studies or employment so I've just put it in a different way that a large number of young people they go overseas for higher studies or employment but before that I like to add you know a general statement so that's a gentle way of beginning the essay so, and, and the general statement it should only be remotely just a little bit linked to what you are writing okay in this case I've just made a random statement people have always been fascinated by faraway lands and distant cultures why it's only remotely linked to overseas you, you could have written anything else for example I'm always fascinated by looking at the airplanes flying uh, in the sky and the countries where they're going right so, so that's just a general way of beginning your essay then paraphrase increasingly a large number of young people go overseas for higher studies or employment I think this has a large number of positives but not without some avoidable negatives in this essay I'll highlight why I feel so so what I've said is that you know that I personally think that there are more advantages so instead of just saying advantages I've said positives and then instead of disadvantages I've said negatives so try to use synonyms in your essays okay and then the last statement it just tells that in this essay I will explain why I think so now comes the content paragraph so the first content paragraph that to begin with no one can deny that this opens up a whole new world etc etc you can read this what I want you to pay attention on is how I've started this second paragraph so I've started it to begin with uh, never start your paragraphs abruptly so don't just say that no one can deny that gradually you know slowly start it by saying to begin with or say firstly or on the outset something like that no one can deny that going abroad opens up a whole new world for young people they're exposed to a new language a new culture a new city this helps to build up their self-confidence and evolve into a global citizen etc etc then I've in the last statement you know I've given written a bit from my experience I've said that most of the well-rounded people I know have spent considerable time living working or studying abroad overseas as they say that you have to add something from your personal experiences that's what I've done over to the second paragraph now I've said in addition going to a stronger economy than one's own country also provides new education and employment opportunities so that's the point that I've spoken about and remember you know when you come when you start with an idea develop it fully okay write two three three four lines about it don't just write one line and then you know start writing about another idea in the same paragraph a lot of people I've seen they waste their ideas like this they will write just a little bit then they will write just a little bit about something else 
and then they will say I, I don't know why I can't you know meet the word limit why it's so difficult to come up with 225 or 250 words that is because you're wasting your ideas you're not developing them properly you're not writing examples so and another thing related to this don't repeat your ideas okay that's also something that you should avoid so don't write about something in the second paragraph and then repeat it in the third paragraph and so on in the end <coughs> what, what I've done is in the third paragraph now you know I've mentioned a negative and I've used the word however to start the paragraph however it's not all without some negatives and then I've given the negative that depression and alienation in a foreign land are some of the major challenges that young people feel uh, since I had said in the beginning that these negatives they are avoidable you know I had said that these negatives just a second I had said that these negatives they were avoidable so that's why here I tell them that how you know these can be avoided so if the foreign governments employers universities are sensitive then most of these can be addressed and in the end to sum it up or to summarize I've just reiterated what I said in the beginning I'm a strong believer that young people should go overseas provided they're ready to face the associated challenges right so that was a good essay I think that is around 250 words so within the word limit distinct points every point explained properly a little bit written from our own experiences now what I want you to do is compare this with the essay that you have written okay and when you are comparing what are the things that you should look for of course the word limit did you have a proper structure right were your ideas flowing as smoothly as this sample response those are the things that you should note down and also check for any spelling mistakes or grammar errors always leave that's why I say that always leave a few minutes in the end okay a few minutes in the end so that you can review you can correct you can improve your sentences all right so that's the essay if you want you can pause the video now compare your, your response with the sample response otherwise let's go ahead and continue so as we finish this first essay let's just revise you know review what are the key points remember the essay structure you know don't write randomly don't write one large paragraph don't write two large paragraphs follow a proper structure introduction content paragraphs and then the conclusion spend the first few minutes coming up with what to write as I said come up with ideas right have a rough template in your mind or on the screen what you are going to write so sometimes I like to just put you know a few words in the beginning of each paragraph that way I have a skeleton and then I go on and write you know fill more into that skeleton you don't repeat points connect paragraph proper paragraphs properly so if you know you're showing a contrast use words like however if you are showing cause and effect use words like therefore because alright so connect paragraphs properly give examples from your own experience like I did and in the end leave some time for review so usually you know two minutes in the beginning for coming up with what to write and maybe three minutes in the end for a review and then you can write spend 15 minutes writing your essay in the middle okay uh, before we go further and continue with the lecture please subscribe if you are not already a subscriber and remember to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button that way you will know when we post when we upload uh, the next video tomorrow uh, these lectures you know these are this is some some of the best practice that you can give yourself for your PTE exam okay so make sure you watch all these lectures there's also plenty of other material in our YouTube channel you will find the link in the description or you can also go to sureenglish.com website if you're looking for a high quality affordable course so plenty of options there for you all right let's try another example now now that we have discussed the first one in detail and we know what to do let's look at another essay topic alright here it is so this one is about tobacco and as I said the first thing should be understanding the question so the key points here 
I've just highlighted but I will let you do it yourself so make sure you understand the key points correctly and then you know you can now start writing if you want you can pause the video for 20 minutes as I said earlier or we'll just go ahead and continue with the discussion if you want to write the essay later and just want to watch the video you can do that as well so now in the sample response first the introduction right now here again I made a general statement it's not related to tobacco etc but it's somewhat related to the fact that where the responsibility lies with the government or with the individual and I said the question of where a government responsibility ends and individual duty begins is an interesting one and then we came to the essay topic you know we sort of paraphrased nowhere is this more apparent than tobacco and cigarette smoking and that result that result in huge healthcare costs for individuals as well as the wider society in my opinion I believe both government and in individuals have an equal role to play in tackling this problem now after this statement I could have written that in this essay I will explain why I think so or in the subsequent paragraphs I will explain my position right that's fine but if you don't write that that's also fine because what we write next you know it will become quite obvious that this is what we are explaining so now the first paragraph first of all I'll explain uh, what, what I believe and then I give an example the government should make it mandatory to have severe warnings on the cigarette packets so that's one point the first point that is a large-scale problem and only the government has the capability to come up with an end-to-end -end solution then secondly so when you use firstly or first of all you know you should try to use firstly secondly that way so secondly when citizens elect a government they hold it for their safety there's actually a mistake there it should be hold it accountable okay so you always hold someone it should be accountable here hold accountable hold it sorry hold it accountable for their safety government should therefore penalize tobacco companies that exploit consumers etc etc and then the other point you know now I've spoken that these are things which government should do then now I'm going on the other side however everything can be left to the government I add something from my experience in my experience I've seen friends go to great lengths to get a smoke even though it involved breaking university rules moreover people should take the responsibility for their own health and well-being as no laws can succeed with without so that's another mistake here but that's fine you know that's why we have the time for review can succeed without public cooperation and then the conclusion to sum it up I agree that government has the primary responsibility to protect citizens from tobacco one cannot ignore the vital role that individuals must play so in the end I again reiterate my position that you know this was the position that both government and individuals have an equal role and here again you know I basically said the same thing government and individuals but I just said it in a different way okay now it's time for you to compare your response with this sample response make sure you spend sufficient time on it don't hurry okay there's no hurry uh, there's no point to writing 10 essays without properly analyzing each one of them that's what I want you to do I want you to analyze properly what you've written what were the shortcomings because that way you will actually learn and be prepared be ready for your PTE exam alright so with that we come to the end of today's lecture lecture number two in the PTE super series all the best and I'll see you in the next lecture remember to subscribe and check out the surewayenglish.com website all the best